Welcome to your first chess lesson. If you complete all of the lessons presented here, you'll learn everything you need to play a game of chess. Of course, there's a lot more to know about tactics and strategy. Those topics are covered in more advanced lessons. We'll start your lessons by taking a look at the chessboard. The chessboard is made up of 64 squares in a pattern of 8 by 8, alternating black and white or dark and light in color. When playing a game, the board must always be turned so there's a light square in the lower right-hand corner. The saying, light on right, will help you remember this. The vertical columns on the chessboard are called files. You might remember this by thinking about a vertical file cabinet. Note that each file is called by a letter. We say, for example, that this is the A file, and this is the F file. The rows on the chessboard are called ranks. You can remember this by noting that both row and rank start with the letter R. Note that each rank is called by a number. We say this is the second rank, and this is the fifth rank. Each square on the board has a name arrived at by putting together its file position and its rank position. This square is called B5, because it's on the B file and the fifth rank. This square is called H3 because it's on the H file and the third rank. This square is called E8 and this square is called D2. A series of squares going from corner to corner is called a diagonal. Diagonals are identified by their beginning and ending squares. This is the A1-H8 diagonal. This is the F1-A6 diagonal. Chess is a game of war between the black army at the top of the board and the white army at the bottom of the board. Although we always call the two sides black and white, chess sets can vary quite a lot in color. The darker pieces are always referred to as black and the lighter pieces are always referred to as white. Now let's put the chess pieces on the board. Standing solidly at the four corners of the board are the rooks, looking like the castle towers they represent. Next to each rook, galloping into the castle, are the four knights, which usually resemble horses. In the center stand the king and his queen. Note that the white queen always starts the game on a light square and the black queen always starts on a dark square. An easy way to remember this is by saying queen on color or the dress matches the shoes. The left and right sides of the board are named for the starting positions of the king and queen. This is called the king side and this is called the queen side. Next to the king and queen go their trusted advisors, the bishops. And finally, in front of each of these pieces stand the pawns, the foot soldiers of the army. The board is now ready for a chess game to begin. The player with the white pieces always moves first in a game of chess. Each player moves one piece per turn. In the next lessons, you'll learn more about each of the five different chess pieces and pawns, how they move, and how they capture. But first, here's a quiz about the chessboard. Is this board set up correctly to start a game? Correct. The board must be turned so that there's a white square in the lower right corner. Click on square F7. Correct. Click on square B4. That's right. Click on all of the squares in the second rank. That's correct. Is this board set up correctly to start a game?
Correct. There's a white square in the lower right corner, and all of the pieces are in their correct places. Click on square G2. You got it right. Click on all of the squares in the B1H7 diagonal. Correct. Is this board set up correctly to start a game? Correct. On both sides, the kings and queens are reversed from where they ought to be. Click on all of the squares in the F file. That's right. Type in the name of the highlighted square. That's correct.